We've got one more statement that we need to take a closer look at, and that's the statement of stockholders' equity. A statement of stockholders' equity is a financial statement that shows how and why each equity account in the company's balance sheet changed from one year to the next. So I always think of it kind of like a reconciliation. It therefore focuses not only on retained earnings, but also on other equity accounts relating to a company's contributed capital. So let's take a look at Bed Bath & Beyond's Statement of Shareholders' Equity. The five columns of the Statement of Stockholders' Equity refer to the five equity accounts from the balance sheet. So those are common stock, additional paid-in capital, retained earnings, treasury stock, and accumulated other comprehensive income. The first two accounts represent the capital that has been contributed to the company through the issuance of stock. The third account, retained earnings, represents the equity that has been generated through profitable operations and retained in the business. Treasury stock is common stock that the company has purchased back from stockholders. So since the purchase of Treasury stock is effectively a return of capital to the owners, the balance in Treasury stock is subtracted from stockholders' equity. Now we looked at the income statement, the balance sheet, and now the statement of retained earnings. What else can we find out about the company beyond the financial statements? Well, a company's financial statements contain a significant amount of information about the financial activities and position of the company. However, they don't tell us everything. And much information that is useful to creditors and investors is actually not included in those financial statements that we just covered. So instead, that information is in this these additional documents, the notes to the financial statements, the auditor's report, and what we call the MDNA, Management's Discussion and Analysis. So here's an example of um, a list of the notes to the financial statements. This again is Bed Bath & Beyond. The notes to the financial statements are the textual and numerical information that's immediately following the financial statements. And these notes do three things. They disclose the accounting methods used to prepare the financial statements. They disclose additional detail and explanation of account balances. And finally, they provide information not recognized in the financial statements. So again, this slide is showing a listing of all the financial notes or footnotes that appear in Bed Bath & Beyond's financial report. So now let's talk about that auditor's report that we mentioned was a, that was other additional information beyond the financial statements themselves. All annual reports contain an independent auditor's report or assurance from a third party. An independent auditor's report is a report prepared by a certified public accountant for the public shareholder stating an opinion on whether the financial statement presents fairly, in conformity with GAAP, the company's financial condition and results of operations and cash flows. So this um, auditor's report is prepared by KPMG. And so you see that it's providing third party assurance and an unqualified opinion. So KPMG's opinion is stated in the first sentence of the third paragraph, and they're saying the consolidated financial statements present fairly in all material respects the financial position of Bed Bath & Beyond and the results of their operations and their cash flows. So we call this an unqualified opinion. And then lastly, MD&A. The management's discussion and analysis precedes the financial statements in the annual report, and it contains, among other things, comments on the company's results of operations, its ability to satisfy its current obligations, and its expansion plans. So in some areas, the MDNA is useful in understanding past performance. For example, 
management usually compares the current year's operating results to the prior years and explains the reasons for any differences across the years. In other areas, the MDNA is useful in generating expectations for the future. So here you can see what the management of Bed Bath & Beyond had to say about what was going on with their company, and particularly their company's expansion program. So it gives you an idea of what to expect in the future.